Welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let us observe this totally unedited posterior polar cataract surgery. The patient is under topical anesthesia and is not able to cooperate well. So, here I am injecting lignocaine, subtenone, making an egg in the conjunctiva and tenons and only 1.5 ml of lignocaine is injected in the subtenons space. Here it goes, just 1.5 ml of lignocaine, enough. And now I ask the patient to look down and start surgery. The main incision is placed at around 11 o'clock. It is a posterior limbal incision. This is phenocaine that contains lignocaine, tropicamide and phenylephrine. The antechamber is then filled up with visco and now a side port is made 3 clock hours away from the main wound on the left side. Now capsular axis, stereo coaxial illumination, the microscope is Lumera T and the camera is Sony Alpha 3S7. And now capsular axis is done, this is a axis of about 5.5. 5 millimeter hydro delineation in posterior polar cataracts I do not do hydro dissection. Hydro delineation means the needle is in the epinucleus and a fluid is injected. So there is a cleft between the epinucleus and the nucleus and the epinuclear shell is protecting the posterior capsule. Visco again, cataract is soft grade 2, so I take my pre-chopper, the pre-chopper that I designed in last December and divide the nucleus into two, rotate it. This rotation is over the epinuclear shell and divide on hemineucleus into two. So I have got three pieces. And now I inject visco again and go into the anterior chamber with the hand piece. The machine is Oatly Cataracts 3. This is a transparent sleeve. There is another kind of sleeve, opaque sleeve with blue color, deep blue color. The head goes. Holding the apex of the piece and emulsifying. Again holding the apex of another piece and emulsifying. And now I rotate, I hold this and bring it out. Hold with bevel down position after holding make the hand piece sideways or bevel up. Now I am gently pulling the epinuclear shell. Till now this epinuclear shell was protecting the posterior capsule. Now I am trying to mobilize the epinuclear shell from uh, subincisional and yes, this is a very good instrument, the nucleus sustainer with a ball tip and even if you touch the uh, posterior capsule, it will not pierce the posterior capsule. So mobilizing something from the equator of the capsular bag 
this is a very good instrument. So, this instrument is required not only for pre-chopping, it is useful in many situations. You can do zero vacuum uh, division of nucleus with the help of this nuclear sustainer. Instead of pre-chopper, take the hand piece, make the bevel sideways, go into the substance of the nucleus and hook the equator with the nucleus sustainer and divide the nucleus. Now, I have taken this instrument in this case, this is a coaxial elimination, uh, coaxial IA, coaxial irrigation aspiration from Oatly and I have been able to remove the cortex, sub incisional cortex also by this instrument. Now, there is some cortical matter sticking to the posterior capsule. I just pass the irrigating jet of fluid towards this cortex and cells sticking to the posterior capsule and they get dislodged and the posterior capsule is nicely polished. There is a weak area at the central part, I do not do any polishing at that and that is not necessary also. When the posterior cataract comes out without causing any rent, that area is just capsule remains there and in most of the cases only the capsule, polished capsule remains there and we sh should not touch that area. And now, in this case, a uh, hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens is placed in the back. Yes, the lens has gone in the bag. It takes a, about a minute to unfold. This is moxifloxacin. And now the side port is closed by stromal hydration. See the optic of the intraocular lens is nicely covered all around by the anterior capsular rim. Means the size of the rexis is about 5.25 or 5.5 millimeter. And now the antechamber is nicely formed. And after forming the anterior chamber, few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface. The integrity of the wounds are checked and the case is concluded. Now, let us observe some post op pictures after 24 hours. Cornea is clear, anterior chamber is quiet, people is round and central. Visual equity is 6 by 18 unaided. Patient is very happy and I am happy too because the posterior capsule was intact. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.